Hello, teacups. What's broom? We're in a new location. My um, door there leads to where my colorful wall is. But uh, I had a few questions come up in my comments and have done for a few videos now about my makeup. The lighting in here is pretty terrible. Um, but my makeup station is here and I thought, well, I'll share and have it in a, a video. If you're only here for the reacts, X on out, no offense taken. If you care about makeup but don't care about my makeup, X on out, no offense taken. But I thought it was easier just to have it in one place and post it up. Uh, let's just show you here. So this is my little makeup station in my bedroom. I'm just going to be talking a little bit about my eyeshadow palettes today and a few of my lipsticks because that's where most of the questions come in. Full disclosure, if this ends up being a weird cut or um, seems a bit disjointed, I filmed the video about the eyeshadow, then went out to edit it and then realised I told you I was going to tell you about my lipsticks and I haven't done it. So I'm putting that in here wherever it is in the video. Uh, mostly the lipsticks I use do come from MAC. I've got a few shades I really love. There's one shade I don't have here um, called Shanghai Spice, which is really beautiful, but unfortunately mine's down to nothing and uh, I haven't been able to get to replace it yet. Um, mostly I tend to put on a matte lipstick and I tend to um, top it with a gloss if I think it's going to be too harsh and I've just realised I don't have my lip liners out for you either uh, but I've only got one or two that I use regularly so I'm going to just tell you rather than going through my jaw um, the ones I use the most, these five uh, I've got, if I'm wearing a kind of pinky look today the one I've got on my lips today is called Faux uh, it's in the satin lipstick shade so that's what I'm wearing on my lips this morning um, I didn't put a gloss on top of that today, but I wanted something with more of a cool tone for when I've got pinkier looks because the warm ones don't always look good with that. Um, I've got Velvet Teddy, which is one I use a lot. It's just, it's one of those kind of my lips but better shades. Uh, so I wear that quite a lot and I usually top it with a gloss if I think it's looking a bit too harsh. So those are just good neutral go-tos. Um, the ones I've bought here are uh, the shade Mullet Over in the Powder Kiss formula. This is a really nice soft matte, but as you can see, it's more orangey. So if I'm wearing pink like this, I don't like to mix those. Um, but I really enjoy this. If you're looking for a matte that isn't too drying, the Powder Kiss formula is really nice. And I've got a uh, Smoked Almond in the Amplified Cream uh, formula, which I'm gonna put here. It's kind of just a darker version of that in a slightly shinier look. Uh, so I like to use that sometimes. I've got, a very, I've got a theme with a lot of my lipsticks in terms of the colour story, put it that way. Um, the other two... Oh, is that everything? I feel like I've missed one. Hang on a minute. Oh, the other one I want to show you here is Sea Sheer. I don't wear this as often, but again, it's like, you can see it's down to a nub. I used to be, it used to be my go-to. But if I'm looking for something that really is pinker, whoops, I haven't swatched that very well. It's because it's not entirely straight on there. Um, that's the one I go through. And this is their Luster range. They've got a really nice, um, I think it's called Cream Sheen. If you're ever looking for a lipstick that you can just put on and go, uh, their Cream Sheen formula is really nice because it's not too heavy and too pigmented. You don't have to be there with your lip liner and like evening it out. And you can just usually stick it on without uh, without looking too far. Um, the liners I use tend to be, their Boldly Bear liner tends to be my go-to. I've also got another one called Fruit Cocktail, which is more orangey. Um, because I do have a more orangey version of the lipstick. I have other ones that aren't MAC. Um, the ones I tend to use the most... I had two regulars in my bags and couldn't find them. I was like, what's going on? Um, this is a really old one, the Colour Riche in Rouge Gold, um, which I think is, oh, L'Oreal Palace, Palace, <laughs> Paris, um, and that's this kind of colour, it's got a little bit of glitter fleck, uh, if I'm looking for a more of a red, but again, that's quite forgiving, it's a brighter colour, but it, it uh, doesn't dry out, it doesn't uh, bleed around my mouth, it's surprisingly easy to wear. Whereas reds tend, like a really bright red, tends to need a bit more maintenance. I've got the Boots number 7 in Ginger Rose. 
which is this one right here. You can see, uh, like I said, I've got a theme. I've really been going in for more uh, neutral colors. I used to be bright red all the time, all the time, but I've uh, I've mellowed a little bit in my old age. And this is just an e.l.f. lip oil. So when I want to just kind of even something out, I'll pop it on top. I don't know if this is a good choice for this one because they're already shiny, but if I've got a matte, I'll just put it on top to, uh, to smooth things out a little bit. I was using this one, it was just a mini, the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade uh, Madeleine. Madeline, I'm not sure if it's named after the person or the pastry, or the cake, um, but I've run out of that one, unfortunately I'm trying to get a full size version of it, but they're really nice, and having a browner gloss, if I have something that is just a little bit too much with my eye looks, my eye looks tend to be quite big, uh, I can just smooth it over and tone it down a little bit. Okay, now to the eyeshadow. Okay, we're going to start with what I have on my eyes today. Um, I had a few questions about this. I don't actually think this one is still available. I know at one point Makeup Revolution did a dupe of it, did a series of dupes of it, but it's the Glitter Storm. I love the uh, the, uh, the thing they have on the front of the palette there, the, the shaky one, uh, by Siente London. And this was, I believe, a holiday release. Um, it's that one right there. And that's what I've got on here. I've got... Uh, these two darker shades, this middle glittery shade, and I've put a little bit of pink into the crease. Uh, so that's what I'm wearing right now. I'm not sure if it's still available, but it's a really nice little palette. I did hear that they had another palette after this, the Jessica Rabbit palette, and apparently the quality of that was a little bit off. Um, it, a little bit inconsistent, shall we say, rather than off. But I really, really like this one. The glitters, though, do tend to go everywhere. I always... I have an ongoing war with concealer and it not matching my skin because <laughs> my skin's very, very pink toned. Um, but when I buy a concealer that doesn't end up matching because I have to order online a lot so I can't always tell, I tend to use it to dab onto my eyes. Um, and that's helped a little bit. I do really need a glitter glue with this one because my eyes are very hooded and you can see it transfers up a little bit. But it's not been too bad. But that's the one I've had the most questions on recently. Um, my three newest palettes... Oh. I've also got my Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette. I know that's probably going to cause some controversy. He's generally a controversial person. He's had a lot of stuff going on just recently with the drama. Um, I bought this when it first came out. I'm not about to throw it away, but I am considering whether I want to do future purchases from him, put it that way. I don't want to waste what I have, but I'm not sure about supporting him at the moment. Still making my decisions there, but we are where we are. If you have a problem with him... I don't really want to hear it, but you can put it in the comments if you want to. My three newest palettes, and these are the ones I've mentioned to people when they've been asking. Uh, anyone who's asked me about a green look recently, it has been the Love Lux Beauty. I ordered three palettes from them. It took two months for them to arrive here, but they're lovely. This is the Gange palette, and it's so, so pretty. I really love the colours in it, and it's just so pigmented. Very, very nice. They go on very well. They blend very easily, and that's true of all of these palettes. They blend very easily, and they're very pigmented. The only thing is, because they're very pigmented, you have to be really careful. Just use a tiny bit. If you overdo it, it's, it can be quite difficult to work with. It takes a little bit more working. I also have For the Love of Fall, which I really like as a palette, but I do find a little difficult to use just by itself. I usually need another colour from another palette to help out. I did like an autumn look with this palette earlier and it was nice. It's very, very shimmery. A lot of the ones that aren't shimmers, um, this one is a matte, this one is a matte, this one is a matte. I don't consider great uh, base colours for the looks I do. So I usually have to find a, a brown or some, some other more neutral colour to help me out with that. But again, quality is lovely. The gold, actually, and the gold right here is so pretty. I just love it. So, so nice in the uh, inner corner. But it goes really well with a lot of my other palettes. And then I have their Winter Woods, which you can't really see massively, but that one is a really pretty duochrome. And uh, I don't think it's gonna show up on camera very well, but we'll give it a go. It's like a blue-brown. Nah, you're not gonna see that very well. Sorry about that, guys. But it's like a blue-brown duochrome, and um, the bottom rows blend really nicely. The mattes 
and the blue actually blends very nicely as well this one comes up more like a purple lavender than it does in the pan a little bit but still very very pretty um, so I've been using those a lot recently because they're the newest and I really love them. Um, I do sometimes with the Gange palette use my Huda Beauty Emerald, uh, Emerald Obsessions just because some of the deeper colours are good for that. Um, I'm really sad. I had to stop buying Huda Beauty. I actually have a couple of her bigger palettes as well. Um, but all the really interesting shimmers that I love the look of just fall off my eyes. Like in, I put it on and it's immediately down one half of my face. And I'm really struggling with that because I just something about her formula just doesn't work for me. It goes everywhere. But the colours in here are so pretty. I ended up buying the Gange to try and replace this a little bit because I was really into greens for a minute there. And I just I couldn't use all the really interesting colours that were, which makes me sad. But it's true of a lot of her palettes. I'm finding even though her colour stories are really pretty, even though... Her um, her shimmers are gorgeous. So you just put them on your finger and you're like, oh, that's so pretty. And when you first put it on, it looks so pretty. But unfortunately, it just doesn't work for me. Um, I've got another Jeffree Star palette. I went through a moment with him, guys, about a year or so ago. I keep this one because I don't really use the shimmers at all. Because they're quite dry. But this is his Thirsty palette. But these three neutrals... Are nice cool tone neutrals they really work for me and I occasionally use these pinch one these peach ones but I don't really use these three and the shimmers again they tend to go everywhere it's a drier formula I'm not loving glitters in general if I'm honest glitters tend to be a bit too much for my hooded eyes but I'm trying to get more use out of the palettes I have which is why I've started reusing this one and I think that's oh no I've got this one right here this is just a collection of singles I have and um, a lot of people have asked this one. When I have like something shiny but quite neutral in my corner, it's usually this. This is the shade Crush. All of these um, round ones are from Luxie Beauty. And there's a couple of really interesting shades here. If you go for this one, this one looks like kind of a black blue. But when you put it on, it's really got some lovely kind of purple. It always makes me think of like a galaxy. And over at pink on your eye, it can look really, really pretty. And then this one, as I say, it's just the, um, there we go. You can see it's just a lovely kind of cool toned shimmer. I bought that as a dupe actually for a while ago. I had the Too Faced palette, um, chocolate gold, and there was a shade in it called Rich Girl. It was my favorite shade in that palette. And I ended up stopping buying Too Faced. I stopped supporting their brand. But um, that shade I love. So I was looking for a dupe for it. Uh, the square shades are from Inglot. So again, when I was first getting into kind of greens and blues. Oh, my voice is going. I was first getting into greens and blues. And I didn't have anything else in my collection. The mini palettes I've just shown you I bought later. I was in Inglot one day and they were having a sale of buy one get one free and I ended up getting a few. They're very, very pretty, but um, I don't use them as much, but I do like the dark blue just to deepen up another colour. But good quality, they work, I just don't tend to reach them quite as much. Alright guys, I do have other makeup, I have other things, but um, I don't reach for the other ones as much. Like I said, I've got a few... I've got the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker, which is fine quality, but I just don't reach for very much. I kind of regret it as a purchase. I was really trying it before. <laughs> in the before times, I used to go for more neutral looks and then I was really getting into color and I wanted something more colorful. But I don't tend to use that so much, if I'm completely honest. I'm not sure why that is. Um, I have the Venus XL2. I don't like it. I was so excited by the colours that I was like, oh, that'll be so pretty. And this one particularly, I was like, ooh, that's an, un oh, that's gone over a different swatch, sorry. I was like, ooh, that's an unusual colour. And I put it on, I was like, it's so pretty. Within five, ten minutes of this um, being on your eye, it disappears. It's difficult to establish, you use so much product trying to get a look, and then it doesn't stay there. And I use primer, I use setting spray, I use so many things, I just don't like it unfortunately which is a shame because it's expensive I've got like I say the Huda palettes I don't have a problem with the mattes I quite like them but the shimmers I have issues with so I tend to go for shimmers in my other collection like 
I've got a few ColourPop shimmers. Oh, my drawer is such a mess. I've got a few um, ColourPop shimmers that look really good with some of the look really good with some of the colours in the Desert Dust palette. This is uh, Ripple. I think it's a discontinued one. And um, that's about. Oh, I've got ColourPop. I've got the Mint to Be, and I've got um, a neutral one. What's it called? The Going Coconuts palette, which I don't actually know where it is right now. Oh, it's in there. I've got the Going Coconuts as well, which ColourPop is fantastic quality for the price. It's really worth it if you're just getting into makeup. This one is beautiful as well. I really like the white one as an inner highlight for me. Because my skin is quite pale, sometimes highlight colours end up not being so highlighty on me. Uh, so I really do like it. Um, I've got other makeup, that's all I'm going to go through right now. But those are the most common ones I use if you're ever wondering. If you're ever like, oh, what are you doing there? How did she get that? Really, really like my newest ones here. Uh, but if you want something easier to get in America, at least, ColourPop is always a good try. They've got generally good quality across the board. Obviously, there's some hits and some misses here and there for the amount of product they have. But they're a good one to start with. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. It will not be a regular thing on my channel. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, let me know if you want any more information. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, everybody.